Okay, the last part of 7.2 here, the geometry problem, they ask us to prove that WS, this little piece here, this length has to be equal to WV. Well, if you're going to prove two sides are equal, what we're really going to have to prove is that S2 and, and V1 are the same angle. If they're the same angle, then equal sides, opposite equal angles will work. So that's my strategy. But I'm going to start off. We know what W2 is. We just did it in the last question. How many times did they do that? You use the thing from the last question in the next one. Well, that little W2 is 180 minus 2x. Okay, let's just leave that at that for a second. Now, hey, these two angles together here open up to this diameter, to this semicircle. That means that together angle TSV must be 90 degrees. Well, that means that S2 must be 90 minus x for this to be 90 degrees, angles in a semicircle. So I can think I can just say S2 has to be 90 minus x because of an angle on a semicircle. Because this whole thing's 90 degrees, S2 is 90 minus x. Now we know this W2 is 180 minus 2x. Now we know this angle here is 90 minus x. Well, these two opposite angles have to add up to the exterior angle. Well, that means if we go 180 minus 2x and we minus the 90 minus x, we're going to end up with another 90 minus x. The exterior angle of triangle SVXWV makes V1 90 minus x. Well, if these two angles are equal, therefore WS must be the same length as WV because you, you've got equal sides opposite these equal angles. And that's the way it works. I didn't have enough space to put in 180 minus 2x here when it got kind of cramped, but that's 90 minus x, that's 90 minus x, that's what makes those two sides equal. And there's that question done.